Hold on, I gotta take this. Last swig here. Hey guys, what's going on? DJ Jason Hooper here, and I'm gonna give you three reasons why you need to be recording yourself as a DJ. Stick around. Hey guys, I'm DJ Jason Hooper, and if you are new here, just stopping by, make sure you hit the like button on this video, subscribe and hit the alert bell so you know when I put out videos, which is once a week. And today I wanna to talk about a monumental error that I realized that I've been making for the past four years. And that error is that I haven't been recording myself as a DJ nearly enough. When I first started in 2013, I was making gig logs for almost every gig that I did and I was posting them on YouTube. And I just went down the rabbit hole last night and started watching these videos again and realizing that I've come a long ways and it was kind of cool to see the progression of how my setup was and how I was performing and how I was handling these events and also the little insights that I was gaining as I went. However, I stopped doing gig logs in 2015. I had a super busy summer. I did a lot of good events. I met a lot of cool people, vendors, clients, formed some relationships. I don't know if I was just burnt out or what, but I stopped making gig logs. I stopped uploading the YouTube and I mainly just posted here or there on Instagram and it was like a story here or there, or maybe a post, but, but I really realized that I messed up because now I have four years of good stuff, a lot of good gigs, a lot of good weddings that I won't ever be able to go back and reflect on and, and see what went well, maybe see what didn't go well, but I really like to look back and remember these times. So I thought I wanted to let you guys know that if you're not recording yourself, you need to be recording yourself. And I don't just mean gig logs. Gig logs are super important, but it could also be recording your mixes, either audio or video. It could be doing your vlog, whatever it is that you do. And I'm gonna give you three reasons why it's really important to start recording now. And if you're still recording or you've been recording, keep it up and take it from me. You don't wanna look back in a few years and realize that you should have been recording yourself. All right guys, so the first reason that you need to be recording yourself as a DJ is it lets your clients kind of see what you're all about. You can post your videos on YouTube, you can post your videos on Facebook, you can even post them on Instagram and Instagram TV, and it's there for the world to see, but also it's there for your clients to see when they are doing their research on you, and you can bet that they are. They're gonna be looking on these social media platforms and to see what they can find about you. If you have really quality videos for them to watch, what better way for them to get to know you and see what you're about than to actually watch your videos? And I used to think that just having a backlog of my videos from 2014 and 2015 was good enough for my clients to say, hey, they know what I'm about. They can check these videos out. But I've grown a lot since then, and those videos don't represent the best that I have to offer in 2020. So it's really important in terms of reassuring your clients that you are legitimate and that you deliver on the services that you say you do to have video that they can check out. Okay guys, so the second reason you need to be recording yourself is you can use it as promo material. So if you're not into doing weddings or uh, private events, but maybe you do club gigs or maybe you work in bars, having recorded material, either audio or video, really helps promote you as a DJ to a promoter or a bar or club owner, or even the clients, if you're promoting gigs, you can send out little snippets of your mixes. It doesn't have to be a professional quality video or audio recording. You can record a lot of great material on your smartphone these days, so there's really no reason to not be doing it. And the third and most important reason that I think you need to be recording yourself and the reason that I'm gonna start doing gig logs again is because it gives you something to look back on and reflect and see how much you've grown. I know that the day-to-day -day growth in any profession, not just DJing, it's really hard to see and measure the steps that you are taking to become a better professional and no matter what you do. However, if you can go back and look one year, two year, three year, four years, five years, however long it is, it really blows your mind to see how far you've come. And there is no better way to motivate yourself to keep going if you're feeling discouraged or you're feeling down or you're feeling burnt out and maybe you feel like you wanna give up than to look back and say, I rock at this. Look at how long I've been doing this. Look at where I started. Look at where I am now. So it's super important. I think that is the best reason to be recording yourself. Like I said, gig logs, 
mixes, audio, video, it doesn't matter. Get something on the record. Get something on your social media. Get something on your website. But more importantly, show yourself to yourself. Show yourself. I'm dying to need you. So you can look back and feel really good about the progress you've made as a DJ. Well, hey guys, thanks for joining me on this video. If I brought you any value, please subscribe. Please like this video. And what do you think? Are you guys recording yourselves now? If you're not, why not? Are you going to start? Let me know in the comments. And if you need any help with any of it, feel free to reach out because I want to help you guys become better DJs. I want to help you be more professional. I want to help you become more profitable. And I really want to build this community up. So don't hesitate. And hey, if you are just starting out, maybe you don't have any gear yet, I want to give you a free gift. Click the link in the first comment here, and it's going to let you know all the gear that you can get to start DJing quick. All right, guys, I really hope you're going to start recording yourself if you haven't been. I love to watch gig logs, so I want to see more of them. And I'm going to start doing that with gigs from here on out. No more getting lazy, no more getting discouraged, no more feeling burnout. I'm going to record my gigs, and I'm going to do a great job. I've seen some awesome ones on YouTube, and I've got a lot of really cool ideas. So I'm going to start doing it, and I want you to as well. Hey, guys, have a great week. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.